Hey everybody, it's Crazy Van Gogh Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, a beautiful day today. Um, currently still in isolation. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well. That's my main concern. You know, like, I know a lot of people are going through a really hard time at the moment. So please, if you need to talk to someone, I'm here. Like, please, like, you guys have supported me. So now it's my turn to support you guys. So if you guys want to rant in the comments below, please just let me know what's going on. Like, if you're having a good day or a bad day, what's going on with your situation, let me know. Um, because I'm, I'm ready to listen to you guys. Because, you know, I want to help as much as I can. And if you guys need someone to talk to, I'm here as well. But in the meantime, we're going to be watching the sixth episode of Outlander season 5. I'm excited for this episode because I did hear that it's the wedding of um, Aunt Jocasta so if it is there's going to be some gossip and I'm sorry for this episode being a little bit late. Yesterday I had to have a meeting with online. I didn't go anywhere don't worry but I had an online meeting with my university um, classes so which they're trying to decide whether they're going to go ahead or not online because they're very <coughs> excuse me, practical. So, um, yeah, they're trying to decide that. Otherwise, I'll have to change around my uni schedule and do some different stuff. But anyway, we're going to jump into this episode because I'm very excited and if there's drama, I'm here for it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video. But to also to get out. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but to also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Happiness does not come into it. In time, Mr. Dennis may afford me a wee bit of peace. But marriage needs an element of love, like the Dowager um, Countess from Downton Abbey says in season six. Recently, just rewatched that. Oh, that guy! Ew, stop being a creep! You mean a, a smuggler? I'm just phrasing, you wound me. You take me for a common thief. I only meant to imply that I have certain friends who are in the business Bonnet. of wearing rare. Beautiful. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like me with drink and practically beg me to take her where she stood. The woman's a vile succubus. How dare you? Whoa, Jamie! What do you mean? Answer the question. Whoa. Or for yours. Oh! <laughs> Then you might as well take both of them. <gasps> no! Jamie, don't! Oh! Well, I'm standing in the way of it now, aren't I? He loves her so much! <laughs> no, come on! Give in! It's happiness! No! Jagasta, please! No! Come on! You can't afford me for wanting to spend the time I've left with a good man. Man whose only cause will be my happiness. What? Woman! This is making me really mad. I love romance, okay? People, don't judge me. Oh, God. And the fact that this time is just so, like, bleak and, you know, and unfortunately it's a really sad time, but when I see romance, I want it to happen. So, Chikasa, put your freaking pride away and just be with Murta. Come on!
She was 16, Morna. She was so beautiful. I left her there, and the mud lying next to strangers. Her bones will be there still on the road, gone to dust. I've sat here for 30 years. Growing old. The palace made from the gold that took her from me. Shona and Clementina perished in the fires. No! everything for what he believes in. That's true though. The sort of man I swore I would never give my heart to again. I love you, Jacasta. Oh! This world may change you. Oh! Right, pause. God. Oh, I don't I can't remember what the actress's name for Jacasta and the actor's name for um for Murta. I'm oh God damn oh, That breaks my heart. Um I guess it's cause um, you know, people who, you know, have fought so hard to be together but they just can't. And even just in stories, I love those stories where they just fight to be together because they know that they're right for each other. And, um, you know, there are, there are some people who, you know, they're meant to be together, but they can't because of circumstances and stuff. And that breaks my heart because, you know, they love each other so much, but they can't. And also, I also understand why Jocasta won't marry him now. And also because... And I respect that, that she says that instead of, you know, just going blind into the void <laughs> in love, even though I want them to, because love is such a powerful thing. And, you know, y yeah, I understand why she doesn't want to do that, because, you know, she's been through that. And I'm, oh, it makes sense now that they opened the episode with what happened at the beginning. And, you know, I have so much more respect for Jocasta now. Like, I know she can be annoying sometimes, but, oh, damn. Such great acting, and just you know, even and the fact that Murta, you know, was just very respectful, and you know, he said he'll always love her. And you can tell Jocasta is just breaking because she wants to be with him, she loves him so much. And you know, I, I love what they've done this season with this couple because you know, it's not too much, it's not, it's not in your face all the time that they're together, that they want to be together, and stuff. It's just, it's there, and you know it, and it's just, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt. You're a woman like no other, Sasnak. But don't forget, you're still a woman. Oh! I would have done the same thing. Oh God! Okay, Jesus. Okay. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think they just need a good. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Especially after what he did to Bree, and what he did to them at the, at the beginning of last season. Doesn't she wear the original silver ring or no? Maybe it's too much of like a, a memory of what happened last season. Promise. Oh, he put Frank's ring on! I promise. <laughs> oh god, him. <laughs> He's such a good actor, but I just hate him playing Stephen Bonnet. Uh, thank you for coming. I know you're a busy man. I can't even 
look at him. I just don't like the look of him as Bonnet. As a matter of fact, it appears you're to be congratulated. Your son is now the proud owner of Rivera. No! This mother You piece of shit! I hate Billy Boyd's character now. Oh. God damn, this episode. Whew! So many emotions. God damn. Okay, let's start off anyway. Um, oh, damn. So many emotions. Okay, let's start off with um, Wiley and Claire. He was a fucking creep. I do not like him. The stuff with Jamie and Claire. Damn, that was very, yeah. It's very heavy and just like, you know, not heavy actually. It was more just like, there's so much emotion kind of like building between them, especially since last season about Bonnet. So, you know, obviously with this chance, yes, it's good that they can go after Bonnet, but like with Jamie, he's get, like his pride did get in the way and I'm so glad he said it because, you know, not many men admit to that. But yeah, the fact that he did, I was like, oh, thank God. But the fact that he was like, a, like willing to give his rings up, including Frank's, especially Frank's ring, because it was gold, to to that man. It just shows, like, how far he was willing to go, um, no matter how Claire felt. So, damn. That was, yeah, that was really, really, really powerful. Oh, and you cast her in Myrta! Oh, I really like them together. And it's just because, you know, we've seen Myrta through all these seasons, you know, go through so much crap. And, you know, then he finds this happiness with your caster and you know obviously I'm, I'm pretty sure they knew each other long ago as well so that's why like when you see these characters come together and you know they love each other so much and you know they have so they these characters have so much love to give even though they don't look like it they they have so much love to give um and oh they just deserve it so much and you know you know, the fact that Ulysses like even knows that like merch is perfect for her it just shows like how much he ships them together too so I am glad that I'm not the only one shipping them but oh, they are the cutest 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 couple <sighs> but yeah it's sad obviously I'm not sure if the next episode is going to be the wedding because obviously this is the stuff before the wedding I thought this episode was about the weddings but obviously it's not so next episode I'm not sure what's going to happen if it is the wedding but if it is Dracasta please just be with Murta. I know but yeah um but I really want them to be together. But this part, I'm guessing not everybody knows about because, you know, Myrta was never supposed to be in this, like, season. So I think that's, like, everyone doesn't know what's going on with that. And in a way, I'm glad because I'm like, I need to find out. Oh, and this episode was so good. This is actually one of my favorites now. This episode and episode three, I think it was. The one with that girl and she gave birth. And then there was that whole story with her husband and stuff. That episode was really, really good and just interesting. And this one as well. But the whole thing with Bonnet... Oh, I'm so scared. And Billy Boyd's character, I do not like. Ugh, he's like a bad guy. But the thing is... oh, So I'm guessing... Uh, how did, did they get? But I'm guessing... He had to have known that Brianna was pregnant. Or that... Bonnet explained everything that had happened... And then, you know, this guy, Billy Boyd's character, obviously found out that, you know, the whole thing. And he was there at the beginning of the episode, too. So that's why, oh. It's, yeah. And, oh, the guy who plays Bonnet. I love this actor so much. He's so talented. I loved him in Downton Abbey. So, so talented. Amazingly talented. I hate him as Bonnet. Like, I, every time I see him, it creeps me out. And I just can't. He creeps the hell out of me. So... Good on him for that, but don't look at me. <laughs> it's just so terrifying, but oh, he's amazing. And I can't wait to see more unravel with like that storyline. Hurry up. Didn't really care about the whole locust thing. Like it was cool, cool effects, but mm, it was boring. Didn't really care about that. Um, but oh, the rest of the episode was so, so good. I absolutely loved it. <sighs> Mm -hmm. my heart why thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this episode uh please give it a like subscribe and comment and tell me your thoughts on this episode i loved it my heart is full of sadness 
romance and blah now i want romance Ugh. but again i have a lot of content coming there's a lot of podcasts coming the death stranding podcast hopefully will be released this week or early next week i'm just in the middle of like trying to sort out a schedule for when my videos are coming out and the new video that i have for a new playlist that i'm bringing to youtube is coming out tomorrow so keep your eyes out on that one i'm excited to give you guys that it's going to be really really good so again thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out